Hello everybody, we are the Mute People. My name is Rob. I'm Phil. And today we're gonna unbox this little game. This very small game. Yeah, very, very small game. Not anticipated in any way. Uh, uh, <laughs> Dark Souls the board game. Uh, this game was made by Steamforge Games. It's one to four players. It's 40 and up, so it's moderately complicated. A little complicated, yeah. And there's a lot of stuff to go through. So. There's a lot of stuff to go through, so let's get right to it. Oh yeah, I'll let you... Uh, Okay, it's the honorable thing to do. It is the honorable. Uh, we're probably gonna die a lot playing this game. Well, yeah. a whole lot. That's the point. I believe the premise of Dark Souls is to die a lot in every way imaginable. Do everything. All right, imaginable. let's open this bad boy up. Oh, maybe the vacuum. Just like I said, camera. Hey, there you go. Oh, cool. okay. Totally, totally. You died. You opened up. Already died. You died. Excellent. It's the best. I love how they put this little thing in there. It's though. the best piece of paper of any board game ever. Yeah. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna put that. I li also, fun fact: this paper serves no other purpose. No, it it's just there. That you have died. Just to let you know you died. Working Typical as Dark in, Souls fashion. So let's uh, pop some of these open here. Right, let's start these There's a there. lot of stuff in here. All right. <laughs> Okay, got that. All right. So first off, we got your cards here. Uh, we got uh, let's see, we got like got your weapons here. Uh, these I believe are the uh, monster action cards. Mm -hmm. Correct. No, these are those are the action cards. Mm -hmm. That's the boss one. Yeah. Boss cards, fun. Yeah, those are great. Mm -hmm. I think they have a little tab here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that. All right. Excuse me. So it's slightly more in depth than Slightly showing you the, uh, yes. the British flag here. Well, we gotta have a British flag there. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So we got a couple. Oh, that's a little nibbler. Number one eleven. <laughs> so you have your stack of cards here. Really small cards. Nice. You got your your actions. You got your, uh, your boss abilities, whatnot. Boss boss abilities. Uh, monster abilities, random, oh, this is the, uh, cards that tell you what spawns in the rooms, there's gonna oh, be different. one drop down there, look at that. Different rooms that spawn yeah. creatures, and these cards <laughs> will randomly tell you what spawns in those yeah. rooms. Uh, miscellaneous equipment. Uh, there's more, more equipment, equipment for you, you got your weapons, you got your, your spear and your claymore. Those are stuff. gonna fit into, like, character trades that we see later on. Now the less interesting things. We well, got some bits here. Well, so easy. Oh, so easy. Stands. See this other games? See this other games when you make oh, yeah. your box right? And you can just take the plastic off? Bam. Perfect. I like it. <laughs> so let's see. Here, so this is it. There. These this are all the, uh, like bosses the bosses and mini bosses. Like, here's, your, here's your awesome demon. Titan that demon. Yeah. Classic he's in a, the first game. I believe he's a he's a mini boss in this one. Yeah. Yeah, he's not, he's not a big bad, but he looks like he should be. Very awesome. This is a big bad. There's a Smo. Is his name? Big yeah. guy. Big hammer. The detail on these are amazing, by the way. Yeah, these models so are high quality. quality. I like them. Very nice. Another yeah, another, uh, another mini boss that looks like it's probably not a mini boss. But gargoyle, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. If you play Dark Souls, you're gonna recognize all. Yeah, you're gonna recognize Titan, all these guys. Gargoyle, Smo. These are from the first game, third game. Here you go. Look at the detail. I believe that's Pretty one insane. of the bosses, correct? Mm -hmm. It's the dancer, dancer, I believe. Yeah. Wing Knight mini boss. So it looks like there's a lot of minis for this game. At least four mini bosses, two bosses. I think Ornstein actually comes with, or Smo actually comes with Ornstein. He's, he's yeah. a smaller figure. Actually, there you go. This guy right here. There's two of them. Yeah. If you played the game, you know that this yeah. is uh, your worst nightmare. And, Terrifying. Yeah. yeah, like I said, in this pack here, we got some smaller minis here. We got your uh, your sentinels there. Nice big beefy guys. Their shields. <laughs> and then you have a couple hollows in here. Some of your axe wielders. Here, let's put these big guys back mm -hmm. here. Just put these guys. Oh, uh, whoa! Whoa! Those guys. We got some guys there. Also got, got some bowmen here. Yeah. yeah, there's the arrow Wing guys. Archers. Again, like even these smaller guys, very good detail. Look very sweet. <laughs> got another one here. Oh, we get three archers. Yeah, sometimes you just need more archers, right? Sometimes you need more. 
There we go. Get him out there. Let's put him with his other buddy there. Think of all their little hollows, little crossbow, yep. crossbow hollow. And then there's I think there's, ones, there's, there's, there's your melee hollow. Yeah, there's your sword and board ones. Yep. Very nice. I think we got a couple of those guys in there. Pop out some more of them. And the bigger you. knights to go with these bigger archers. Mm -hmm. Oh, here's some more hollows. This is pretty. There's more of your hollow crossbowmen. Very nice. These are all the, we didn't say this before, but these are all the like plastic miniatures that like you've seen like Arcade Quest or something like that. Mm -hmm. So they're sturdier and you can drop them and a lot of detail. Got two knights here. These guys are pretty nice. Pretty nice. One more little hollow. One more hollow in there. Then we got our dude. Then we got our player characters, which is the characters you're going to be controlling. Each one of these has their own little board. Oh, yeah, I see they're, they're brown, as opposed to the other ones, so you can tell which is which. They look really good. I don't know what they're called. We're going to see in a second anyway, so yeah. in their character boards. Alright. And, and they're a different color, obviously. I mean, if you yeah. were to paint them, which a lot of people will paint these minis, you'll know the other way. You got your typical, like, your out. dice in here, if you use for your actions, whatnot. Yeah. Use for your damage, everything in this game has to do with the dice roll. So, blocking, damage, use the same dice. The dice are tiered up. Black dice, blue yeah. dice, orange dice. Then dodge dice for green. So there you go. More dodge dice you get, the better chance you have. Here's your your little rules guy there. Of course, you gotta have that. Really good quality too. Yeah, everything in this game is good. Everything's quality. high quality. Yeah, you miss a little, you miss these little little bits, little wooden cubes. They're used on the character boards to represent health and stuff like that. Now let's get to these character boards here. Oh, there's character boards. There's punch outs. Mister Punch Out. Yeah. Some of the punch outs might be a little loose in there. Who knows? Oh, these are actually there. Oh, we'll get to get yeah. that guy. Alright, so you got your typical your boards here. They're uh, double sided. So you can see that there. These rings are where you place the bad guys. It's a, it's a, it's a new system, a grid system that's not mm -hmm. usually used in other type of games. Or actually, I don't know if it's ever been used in any other type of game. But yeah. yeah. And these symbols are where things are spawned. As you said, there's cards over here that tell you like if spawns some spawns on the purple out. symbol. This symbol will correspond to it. So another one. Oh, oh it looks like we got some people in this room too. This is the boss board. Oh, a little skull. Red skull there. Mm -hmm. Which is boss. Um, the boss. I don't remember who those guys are. That's a firekeeper, and that's the uh, blacksmith. Blacksmith. Firekeeper yeah, keeping yeah. the little fire. Ah, and yeah. your soul well. <laughs> keep all your souls. Yeah, there you go. Same, both sides, got that there. We said you got more boards, different scenarios. There are, there are slight differences to them, most yeah, of the differences are Yeah, there's a design difference, spawn where points the things are different. Are spawned and where the doors are. Mm -hmm. Now we get the good old punch outs. The good old good olds. The good old good olds. So here's a... Spin downs. Yeah, here's a list of punch oh, outs for you guys. spin downs. Lots of spin downs, fun stuff like that. Souls, these are the souls over here. Right. And these are things used for the uh, character boards. Give you rerolls and heal you and stuff like that. Well, here's another another one of your scenario boards here. Boss room. Yeah. Skull. Another boss room. <laughs> Skull there. There's quite a few of those boss rooms, isn't there? Yeah, there's a lot. Of, <laughs> well, there's a lot of towers. Yeah. Because you need you lots of tiles. Standard dungeons, I think, like six tiles or something like that. So, and that's just up to the mini boss. Then after oh. that, you fight them. And uh, here's one of your, the first of your character boards. See one of your player characters, the assassin. Stop here. Yeah. Yep. You have your equipment, your hands, your armor, your miscellaneous, and these are your little stat things. These little squares oh, down here and over here get punched out. Is that what you use the cubes for? The cubes, yeah. Nice. All right, these cool, are your cool. stats that allow you to use better armor. Mm -hmm. You know, this is health and stamina tracker. So you put the cubes down there and you use health or stamina. Yeah, so we oh, have... Hold on the bottom here. There's little stuff on the bottom. So. Oh, look at these guys. I didn't even notice these. It's more on the back. <laughs> Mm -hmm. These little guys. The chests, crates. Got a little treasure chest there. Crates. Stuff. Other stuff that appears. The I think this is the uh, aggro token. Saying oh, oh. Nice. everyone loves getting aggro, right? Everybody, everybody. Uh, here's another one of your uh, PCs. Oh, these are condition tokens, yeah. by the way. Bleeding. Bleeding, Bleeding like frozen. Here's Which here. one is this? The warrior? Well, yeah. you have the knight. Knight. Oh. The warrior. Oh, these guys are really stuck oh. together, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. Bam. Whoa! Oh, okay. Next level. Whoa. Calm down, Dracos. Next level. Look at that. <laughs> so, All right, so we get to show off two at once now. Night and Warrior. <laughs> night and Warrior. As you said, these cards punch out along with the other things, but mm -hmm. basically the same thing. Things same yeah. setup for everyone. The only difference. Yeah, is, these are all your equipment sets, everything. The main it's difference, different. I think, is the numbers. For their the numbers stats. are different for the yeah, stats. Yeah, naturally. Differently. So the Knight and the Warrior have higher strength than like the Assassin and stuff. Mm -hmm. Let's see if we can get this in there. 
And the, the last, last character is the Herald. The Herald. Oh, oh, hold on. A little bit I almost prematurely punch one of those cube spots. Don't want to bad do that. luck. Bad yeah, luck. Man. Don't want to do that. So, and that's and they all have their own little skills up here. Mm -hmm. Their own skill blocks. Really cool. One-time use items. You go to the bonfire and, and get them back. Uh, that's basically it for all the components. Mm -hmm. so yeah, well, he says this game is very, very well done. I love how it looks. Everything is so detailed. I mean, there's a lot of stuff yeah. in the box. A lot yeah. of these little decks. Mm -hmm. Got all the decks in there. The pieces. Stars. Oh, the guys, and they all fit in again pretty yeah, easy. Yeah, you can all fit them back in, the in there and back fairly in there. Easy. easy. We got. Um, I definitely want to paint some of these guys though. Mm -hmm. I think they will look insane. I'll let you do that. Yeah, because fine in a heartbeat, not a problem. <laughs> I could kill a few. This few game weekends. also has about a thousand <laughs> expansions already, roughly. A yeah, thousand. there's a ton. It's because so, of the, the Kickstarter funding, right? Yeah. yeah. Massively exceeding their goals, so there's going to be a whole crap load of yeah, expansions coming out when the game launches. And uh, uh, when is the actual launch date for the game? That's a good question. Hmm? Oh, it didn't. Oh, it didn't launch by now. Yeah, it launched it? by now. Yeah. Oh. I gotta pick it up now. Oh, look at that. Ah. Ah. Living in the past. Yes. It's, uh, it's, uh, <laughs> we were so excited, we just couldn't tell what the date was yeah. or anything anymore. But yeah, so it is out now. I believe there's a couple expansions already. There's like, how many do they do? Like seven, Next, eight, yeah, eight maybe? Well, single boss expansions, armor expansions, unit expansions, character expansions. Yeah, you get more heroes. Item expansions. All well, expansions for everything. So yeah. the, only, the, only, the only downside I see to it is uh, how I'm going to store all of it because I already already own all of it. Yeah, wow. So I don't know if you know that. You no, but now I know. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. So. But yeah, so uh, that about wraps up for the unboxing for Dark Souls. We're definitely looking forward to playing this. Oh yeah. Like so I said, you can play anywhere from one player to four players. So you can so play this by yourself. You play it by yourself if you know your friends don't want to hang and out it scales, with you. Even it scales all the way up <laughs> one to four, and even has rules where if let's say you're playing by yourself and you're real lonely, and then somebody comes over your house and you're in the middle of playing the game, there's rules literally for them to jump to jump into right the into the game walls. So process. it's pretty cool. Completely scalable. Well and, thought out. At an instant. Mm -hmm. So, truly really good game. They thought of everything. It plays, as far as I know, from because I've played it a few times already, like the video games. Mm -hmm. uh, trial and error. It's all about knowing the patterns and what the enemies are yeah. going to do. Every your enemy. It's yeah. Very, very easy to get killed in this game. It's uh, very naturally. Positionally <laughs> oriented. Yeah. So, where you move and how you move and how your team moves around things is. is important yeah. so so like i said that about wraps it up uh, on behalf of the meeple people i'm phil and i'm rob and we'll catch you guys next time